Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ty is back. What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here for To Be Tuesday. What is To Be Tuesday? I'm glad you asked. But before I tell you, I got to give a shout out to my lovely subscribers. Shout outs to Lamont Simpson, who's the one who said you need to call this Ties To Be Tuesday. Shout out to Lamont Simpson. Shout out to Randall Brown. Shout outs to Simply Be Yourself 100. Savannah Rivers or more Dupree. June BLC. Um, what's the other? Uh, Stephanie Chalamande. Uh, House of Sir James and all the rest of you wonderful, lovely people who've been holding me down and leaving comments on my videos. Let's keep this channel going and growing, right? Let's do it. Let's keep it going. So anyway, get back to the question. Oh yeah, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It don't take long, but let's, let's, let me tell you what 2B Tuesday is. That is where every Tuesday I plan on reviewing one of these Tubi movies that come on the Tubi app. It's a, the Tubi app is free. You need to get on Tubi. Listen, I know people clown Tubi all the time, but that's one of my, I'm telling you, Tubi is my joint. I know some of the acting is bad. Some of the production is kind of cheap, but it's very entertaining. And there's a lot of these films that have great, that have interesting plot twists, I should say. Some of them, I'm noticing a similarity. Everybody's having sex. Everybody's uh, betraying each one another. It's all these twists and turns. I don't really do the drug de dealer ones because those films, it's like over and over, it's the same exact plot. You know, keeping it real, keeping it real too. Shoot them up part one and two. Those I got a little tired of, but I do enjoy the thrillers. Because, they, like I said, they, they got all these twists and turns. The best friend always cheating on her, her. The best friend cheating with the other best friend's man and vice versa. It's always some sneaky stuff going on and then a bunch of deceit and stealing. And I know what's wrong with me that I'm in, enjoying all that stuff, right? That's kind of crazy. So with that being said, the film that I am reviewing today is, tonight is titled, He Say, She Say. Now, this is not... Listen, y'all, it's he said, she said. Don't mix it up with he said, she said, because that's another film on Tubi. They're both on Tubi. We talking about he say, she say, which was directed by Nelson J. Davis, who, in my opinion, is one of the kings of Tubi movies because he has written, directed, and starred in quite a few. How do I know? Because I've watched them. <laughs> and they're, they're entertaining I'm telling you they are really entertaining Those twists they be getting me I be like did that just happen That's crazy So this also stars um, Let me look at my notes y'all Okay this also stars What's his name Deontay Cuvon And Carnitha Harrelson so this, this is about two best friends. I believe their names are Khalil and Ezra. Two best friends who reunite with Layla, an old friend from college. But here's the thing. Layla is someone that broke up their friendship. You know, they mentioned that because in the, in the beginning, when we meet the two fellas, they're cool. One of them, he's upset because his girlfriend, I guess he had a bad breakup or whatever. So the other one's like, yo, listen, I need to get you out of the house. We need to do, you know, you know, we got to get your mind off. And oh, are you going to go to the reunion? And he said, oh, look who hit me up. It's Layla. And then the dude, I believe it was Ezra. I mean, no, I'm sorry. I believe it was Khalil who said, listen, nah, that's the one who broke our friendship up. And then the other dude was like, nah, listen, son, that, that was years ago. We was in college. We passed that now. Right there, I said, red flag. Red flag right there. This is a girl who broke up y'all friendship. So clearly, y'all must have been fighting over this chick. Now you want to reunite with her? I said, it's going to be a problem. I felt, I said, it's going to be a problem right there. It's definitely going to be a problem. So anyway, they meet her. She's cute. They're going to meet her, whatever. They're at this party or whatever they were at. And they start shooting. You know, you can't go nowhere. Somebody acting stupid. Somebody starts shooting. Lord, they're shooting. Duck down. Get down. Get that. Whatever. So now they got to bring the party back to their house. I said, here we go. And she's steady. Layla's steady plotting, boy. She getting them drinks ready. I said, yeah, she about to do something. I could feel it. I said, she about to do something. 
Homegirl got them drinks ready. It was time to get spicy. She start flirting and carry on. So, um, Ezra, she start kissing on the Ezra. And then Khalil is like, okay, I think I better leave. She said, no, 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 no. I want both of you at the same damn time. So she had both of them at the same time. So they getting it on and, you know, it's just doing it. And, you know, those scenes, you know, they showing, they, they, they're getting it on, doing it, getting it down. And they're, they're having relations now. So now they're open. And I said, see, that's going to be a problem. So I said, these two going to end up fighting over this girl because this dude already said at the top of this story that this girl is the one who broke up their friendship. So I said, oh, that's what's going to happen with this? That's what I thought was going to happen. But no, they have more sex. And then somehow... Layla, after sex, tells these guys this story of how she needs their help and she needs them to help rob somebody and get some money that's owed to her and what was done to her. And I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, was the sex that good that both of y'all are going to help commit a crime to support this chick? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? See, that's why I like the movie, because stupid characters make me mad. And I'd be like, you can't be this stupid. You can't be. And that's why I like stuff like that. Because then I start yelling at the TV. Yo, you can't be stupid. This is dumb. It's a trap. What's going on? But my thing was, what made me think, I said, so clearly she knew these were two suckers. Because how you reunite, how did she know this plan was, she had this all planned. How did you know that those two would be the two that would allow this plan? I was like, what kind of foolishness is this? So... They go do this crime for her. And the plot twist was, y'all gonna like this. Did I say spoiler alert? I don't know if I did. But spoiler alert. The plot twist is they go do this robbery and they end up killing this couple. It's a husband and wife. They end up killing. The plot twist is these are Layla's parents. One of them is Layla's father, I believe. And the other one is her stepmother. And she wanted money from them. And they wouldn't give her the money. So now she kills them so she could collect the money. And it's just this whole thing that's going on. Then she tells the police that those two brothers raped her. So not only did she ruin your life or uh, destroy your, your friendship a few years ago. Now she's ruined your life. Because the movie ends with them. Listen, I'm telling y'all the whole thing. Now they're now they in trouble. So the twist was she did all that and set them up. And I'm saying to myself, how did she know these two was going to be gullible enough to... Why y'all so gullible in the first place? That was what's, what was pissing me off. Why y'all so damn... Was the sex that good? Really? Like, come on now. I mean, I don't know. I, maybe that's just me. But see, that's, that's, see how invested I get y'all? I was like, hold on. Wait a minute. Are you serious? You really did this right now. You really did this. And now look at it. So that was that. But I thought it was, with that being said, the movie's not that long. It's only like an hour. Yeah, it's like an hour long movie. I was sitting here like, she wasn't all that. She wasn't worth it. So see, two be movies give you a lesson too. It ain't worth it. All that glitter and gold. Yeah, y'all enjoyed y'all little sex. Y'all sharing, hun, having a good time. Y'all in the shower. Y'all in the bed. Y'all on the couch. Y'all doing all that. Now you in jail. Who you gonna be sexing in jail now? Because it ain't. See what happened. And she gets away with this and just did them dirty. I said, that. now that was interesting right there. I thought that was quite interesting. I said, this this is what I'm talking about. And that was how I got down the rabbit hole, y'all. And I started watching more of these 2B movies. And they all kind of have similar plots. Some of them are ridiculous. Some of them are hilarious. But they're all entertaining. Every last one of them is entertaining. So have y'all watched this? And tell me about some movies on 2B that you've watched, if you have. Don't sleep on 2B, like I told y'all before. If you if this ain't your thing, you don't like those type of films, there's other things on there. They have a lot of the old school movies on there. They have old television shows. I said this before too. And why am I promoting Tubi like I work for Tubi? You know what I'm saying? But listen, I'm telling you, it, it really, I really enjoyed it. But check this film out and tell me your thoughts. It's called He Say, She Say. So I'm, I'm guessing she's, he say it was consensual. She say they raped me and killed my parents. <laughs> I guess that's where the title come from, I'm guessing. 
But that's all I have for now. See, this is a quick review. What, are we only like 10 minutes long now or something like that? That's all I have for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.